Hello and welcome back. It's Bebel Joe, and you're watching Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. It's snowed again, and we're gonna have more products. Let me catch you up first. What happened over here? I decided I wanted to use some forklifts. Um, just started out with something, change it a little bit, and this is where we are now. There's a problem. This guy is assigned to construction. And there is a vehicle over here waiting to construct it, but he can't reach it. So sadly, we have to build this. I don't like it, but that's what it is. We will try to construct this one. I submitted a bug for this. It's just not connected to anything that has a street directly connected to it. Maybe if these buildings were down, it could work, but it's not working right now. It's a little sad, but that's where that is. So I expanded this a little bit. I also added a distribution office. Um, it has three of the logger trucks in it, and it's just trying to fill this one. We are about halfway full, which is pretty good, so we can start doing things. Oh, I added more snowplows here, and they're the fast snowplows. They can snow, or they can plow at 45 miles per hour, I think is what it was. So that's it. Is this one getting gas, but it's not actually plowing? Interesting. Um... I would feel like they should be plowing, but... Anyway, it's winter, so stuff is happening. These are doing what they're supposed to do. There's nothing, not much to say there. We are in the area, so let's always, always replant your trees. Um, it's good to be green in this game. <laughs> It'll help you in the long run. Just hold your hold your um, cursor down. No, what is it? Mouse button. Hold your mouse button down and let it plant the trees. You will need it and you will thank yourself later. Um, another thing, our money is doing pretty good. We are almost done with all the rubles. We paid a little more, we still have 188 to go, but we almost have the money already. So that is going pretty well at the end of this year. Well, next year, we will definitely be able to pay that. And so the, all of this took about an hour, if you care uh, to know. Let's see. Just curious if, it looks like vehicles can actually reach this one, so that's good. Um, yeah. Um, this all took about an hour, just let it play forward a little bit, just to make sure money and everything is doing well. Um, but yeah, this is, everything is fine. No problems, no real problems at least. However, let's look at this. Our population is down to 1550. Our happiness is terrible. We are losing people left and right. Last year we lost 700 people. The problem was I had too many people waiting in front of the shop and nobody could get anything. So what I did, I overreacted and built a bigger shopping center and we will get one of these trucks. That shopping center just completed, so... Um, actually, no. Let's erase everything from line, get you to the second food factory, and have you drop off stuff right there. Wait until loaded. Go. So we don't have to pay for food anymore. But if we need food, we will pay for food. There is no ifs and buts around that. That's what happened. Um, we were having a lot of citizens, so I built one more um, citizens building or residence hall. Know what it's called. Ah, happiness is going up. Good. Um, but that's what we were doing. And then, actually, here, let me show you this. This is our dip. We we fell a lot. And by the time I figured out what the problem was, it was way too late. We had too many people here. They all overloaded the system, and our happiness was just too low. And that made people leave. People are still leaving right now. But there's not much you can do until the happiness uh, goes back up to 80% or higher. Another thing that was a problem, which is still sort of a problem, I'm not sure if that's the beta branch or if it's something else, our health is not great. So to prevent that, or to hoping to prevent that, I added another small clinic with more vehicles. It can still reach everything, so I hope everything is covered now. And we shouldn't lose any more people, but it's hard to know, at least for now. It is cold. I do... I, I think we always have enough people in here that we have heat, so we don't have to freeze. 
But yeah, this uh, <laughs> stuff is happening, and there there is the danger of that this just being a side effect of the of the beta branch. But this is what it is. It looks like our happiness overall is moving up a little bit, which is awesome. It's just going to take a while. Once you dip below a certain threshold, it just takes a while to get back. But that's where we are. Um, it looks like this got completed. Let's at least get one of these done. I'm not planning on getting everything built right away. I'm still... We're not rich yet. We're making money, but we're not rich. But this is where we are. Um... I actually forgot something. Uh, I did not look for other forklifts. Because the forklifts that we have here do not carry that much. The Russian one, 1.8 tons of wood or logs, and the American one, 1.4 tons of wood. It's just not a lot. This one does 2.5 tons, so it adds a little bit, and this one does 4 tons, and almost doubles the original capacity. I think we can safely assume this is what we're going to go. There's no reason to go less than 8. We get fuel for our fuel distribution system, so that is all set up. And yeah, here's our our bus stop. We will need a new bus, I believe. This is this is a stop where you actually need a big bus. Even though, how much do I want here? Twenty people. <laughs> I do want a big bus, but do I want a big bus right now where we don't have that many people available? We don't have unemployed workers. Let's just start with a microbus and have him go back and forth. And that's silly. No, just start here. Go here. Boards are not that important, but important enough. Oh, um, we added a bridge. I added a bridge over here. I, I had to restructure this a little bit just so I could get the storage units in here. But there's a bridge now, so I will... All of this should be a little faster in movement, just in general. Um, let's see. Assign some tasks. Uh, just in case you haven't done this before, this is pretty much like the distribution office. You tell them where you take stuff from, and here I just want you to load. I already set the storage to only... Um, to only allow logs. And then you get the next one and you tell it to load and unload. I will eventually unload the done boards in here, but we don't do that right now. Look at them go. Run, 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 my little forklift. Go get the four tons of logs. Beautiful. <laughs> That's a lot. Uh, this, is really, this really just should happen at the very beginning when nothing else is really set up. Um, but once this is all set up and running, I don't expect there to be a, like a, a forklift traffic jam. And obviously over here we're not actually requiring forklifts to move the logs into the facilities, so that will, should make our life a little easier. Okay, yeah, this, this one hurts. But at least our population is not, I don't think it's going down much anymore. We're still losing a couple people, but we're gaining citizens, so... It's better. We were at like 2,200. We almost lost a thousand people now. That is pretty terrible. And people are dying. Our average lifespan is pretty low. So we are somewhat in trouble right now. And there's not much for us to do besides have enough doctors available and make sure people have what they want so they are, get happy again and stay happy. Um, yeah, th this was the thing that happened a lot. Nobody could enjoy get meat or hospitals or culture and all those. Just, yeah, people started running away. I understand it. Buildings closed due to bad weather. I am not certain. I have seen that before. This one, obviously, some guests are without service. Very interesting. I didn't actually realize that you can play sport in the winter, but I love that you can play sport in the winter. That's that's an awesome addition. Um, really, really awesome. I think we can reduce this by five. This is fine. Um, I think, yeah, we were at 70, 77, 78. So this is stabilizing. It's not great. We don't have real... A lot of people available 
We had over a thousand educated people. Like, everyone ran away. Oh, it's terrible. But that's what happens if you don't pay attention for a little too long. Stuff will just not function anymore. And it's the way it is. Um, up here, we just play our usual... Um, what's it called? Something about chairs. Around the chair, chair... There's a game that you play with chairs, where you run around the chair. And all you do is just essentially pull the chair out of somebody else that wants to sit down. So they plumb down, and you get the chair. Um, yeah. I'm not sure if I ever played that game. I've only seen it in videos. Or in movies, really. But this is fine. Surprisingly, or not surprisingly to you maybe, the 20, 21... Uh, 2,100 tons of crops that we get are not going very far. Oh, snow plus on my clues list. Um, they're not going very far, so I'm very glad that I have it set up so that the train always goes back to the border. So stuff can actually uh, get produced down here. What are you doing? Yeah, you're trying to get rid of your crops. We obviously don't have a lot of people right now running around, so there's not a lot being used in general. Oh, I was like, wait, why is that zero? That's not right. But all of this is working, we just lost a lot, and a lot, and a lot of people, which means all of our production chains will be pretty much empty, or close to empty, until we have people again. Um, our average age is pretty young. Our lifespan is pretty low. We need this up again, because people die if it's below 83 or 85. So, yeah, no, we, we have a little bit of trouble, but we are getting back to normal. The, the escapes are not as bad, and our, our happiness went all the way up to here. Let's see what that actually is. I hope it's close to 80%. Yeah, we have a couple at 80 already, so that is good. Health, health is not good, and that means our lifespan is just lower. But enough of that complaining. Um, it is what it is. It is getting better. You drop off boards here. Um, boards supply. Um, limit the amount. All we allow is boards. I, I thought I clicked this. I apparently didn't. All I want to have in here is boards, and I don't want to get confused about it. So that can go there. And, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure how many people we actually have working there, but you don't need a, that's a weird path you're taking. You don't need a lot of people to um, produce the boards. That's why I didn't want to set up something too funky. So there is 50 tons here already. I want you to stop picking up boards from there. Instead, get the boards from here, but then sell the boards here. Um, yeah. I mean, we have it now, so they're not worth that much, but they're not worth nothing. So we should take advantage of it. Um, and as long as our board storage here is always full, I think that's fine. Why? I would like you... Let's see. Let's tell the board storage to actually get filled up more. Prefab steel breaks boards. 70%, nope, make it 90%. Very good. And we'll do the same thing with bricks. Bricks will go over here. Um, we have a lot of wood, and that's all excellent. And, yeah. I mean, this is all working. Our money is going down just a little bit. We're not really selling as much. There was a time where we sold over 100,000 a month. Right now, where are we? Beginning of February, we're not selling as much food as we normally do, which makes sense. We don't have as many people as we normally do. So everything is slowed down, and it's just going to take a little bit of time. Yeah, I keep going on about the people, but if you go back to the earlier episodes, people are your most valuable resource, by far. So if you lose them, you have a problem. We have a problem right now. Um... Yeah, this is stabilizing. 
this is happy enough. Our lifespan is going up, but it's not where it needs to be. Train, are you selling food yet? You're still not selling food? I guess you're still full of crops, so... It is what it is. Um... Yeah... This is the state of affairs. And honestly, it's not a bad thing. Just, we have to watch out for the things. Yeah, this is already filled up. 150 tons, so these can start just driving around and selling that those boards. I actually want to see how much a load, a truckload of boards is worth. But I think, yeah, all of them are already have already dropped everything off. Yeah, so the next thing that we need to do that I want to do is still self-sufficiency. So we have 125,000. What's this cost? It costs a little bit, but it doesn't cost. It's not the end of the world. So let's construct these two so we can add bricks, the two things that we're never going to buy again, hopefully. And then we can plan out our next area. The next thing that I think we need will be and I highly doubt we need, <laughs> we're going to take our vanilla industries here. Where, where is it? I think it must be in construction. We want, nope, it's not in construction. Is it, definitely not there. Be a silly place for it. Um, I'm a little confused. Where is, it has to be here then. Yeah. So we want cement, and cement needs coal and gravel. We want prefabs, which needs cement and gravel. And then, well, we already have bricks. So these two are the next two that I want to build. However, cement plant is pretty big and uses how many people? Oh, number of workers only 30. Maybe we actually built this. It just cost... It costs 250 tons of steel. <laughs> Ouch. No, I don't think we can build the cement plant. That, that is a lot of money. Everything else we can have, but we can't have that much steel. The prefab panels factory seems a little more reasonable. 19 tons of steel. The rest we're going to produce ourselves. So I'm not that worried about this. So yeah, prefab panels we can do. But cement panels or cement factory we cannot. So let's see what we have. Um, small cement plant. Look at that. 121 tons of steel. Why? Why does this game hate me today? Small flare. What's this for fuel? Oh, it makes... Does it make power? What do you do? You just consume bitumen, but what do you... What are you for? I don't understand. I would feel like it makes power. It shouldn't make power, but it's consuming power. I don't know what that one is for. Maybe it's just to look cool. I've never actually seen that before. So... Yeah. Small, another small cement plant. A little different. 64 tons of steel. That's a little better, but I would guess... 11 tons... No... So you can produce 12 tons of cement a day. That's not the end of the world. 64 tons of steel. Why is there so much steel in all of these? I can't afford that. Man. That's hitting me a lot harder than I was prepared to be hit at. Jeez. Um, how do you look? We do need... What was it? Coal and gravel. But all we need is 3 tons of coal and you can store 15. I don't think we need a gravel storage. Sorry, a coal storage in this case. So let's put you relatively close to our existing infrastructure. Just for now. Then I would like a cement silo. How much can you store? 33 tons. That's not exciting. Actually, I'm surprised that this one doesn't have that dry... 
the new dry storage. So let me check something. Yeah, these got updated. You see the um, connections on the right? They are different now than they were before. I'm not sure if factory connections can move cement anymore directly. Well, um, I had to step away for a little bit. And then my computer kind of shut off, so we are where we are. Um, looks like we made a little more money. Um, and a couple people, they're happy again, and they're relatively healthy. And it looks like the bricks got done. So let's add these two. The brick works should just load bricks. And we should unload the bricks at this place. Bricks two. Um, board supply, let's call it that. Um, and let's tell these guys to stop buying bricks and get them from up here. No, who said... Stop. Stop. Unload bricks. Unload boards and nothing else. Load boards. Silly forklifts. Let's just do this so that doesn't happen again. It's kind of late, so mistakes are not surprising to me right now. Whoa! Must have been gone a good while. Building is on fire. Okay. New, new. Uh, this one would have been good a while ago. It doesn't look like anything burnt down. So, that's positive. Uh, we have food here, we have people here, there's people going here. They're happier. Unemployed citizens are a good thing. 70 some of them is not a good thing. Um, this guy has to be has to be produced. There is no way around that we need that one to happen. Why? Okay, forklifts. Figure your stuff out. Um, I want you to load this as well. And um, yeah, just just get stuff out of here. We don't we don't want all this nonsense here. We do want a bigger bus to transport our um, our workers for this area. So let's grab the micro bus and. Switch them out for a serious bus. Launch. Um, seven people. I guess we can leave the micro bus running. I don't see a big problem with that. Not for now. Why? No. Why? How, how did it unload boards here? There's no... Ugh. I don't know what it's doing. Anyway, um, I will probably record this. Well, no. Why, why would you care? There will be more recording happening. We, I will double check that we can make, uh, that we can transport cement with the current setup. This guy, you need to. Well, this one's the only one that takes grain right now. That's not helping. All of these are full. They can't do anything. There was a, a mention that I can discard the cargo. Um, and then I would like you to go here. So, no, turn around. Good. And now I want you to pick up all the food. Good. And go sell the food. We don't need the food anymore. This year, yeah, I mean, we're, we're making good money. And we are done, almost done, with our loans. Yay. I don't, 
I mean, eight days. Okay. Eight thousand forty-nine. Return the money. Very good. Um, so we are debt-free. We are producing stuff. No bitumen. No fuel. A couple people doing stuff. These are filling up, so that is fine. Um, yeah, I mean, our Republic is working. Our Republic is working great. This area we will expand very soon. Um, just to get the prefab panels and our cement and all that stuff. And then the only thing we're not currently producing is steel. And that's going to be a little while until we can produce that. Uh, I think this one is now next. How much steel do we need? A lot of steel, but we will survive. A lot more steel for this one. A lot more steel. There's a lot more steel that we need. There's like... Uh, 15... 12, 34... Uh, 41, 61 tons of steel. Uh, but we can afford it. Ew. What is... Let's just say these are not supposed to be here, but there's a glitch in the matrix somewhere. Uh, so that's fine. Okay, it's working again. Stuff down here is working. I think our tractors are just about done. Are you done? Yeah. Everyone is done doing the things, so we can send these back. And honestly, once I have enough steel, I will make sure that we replace um, the farm up here with something that can hold enough vehicles uh, year-round. It's not like this is a big problem, it's just one year I'm going to forget it or have the game running and I won't remember that I have to do this and then we miss a whole harvest. And that will be bad, because that costs money. What are you doing? There's nothing in there. That's fine. You're full, you're making food, everyone is happy. People here are doing better, people here... There's still a sports problem. I don't know where there's a sports problem. There's a sports complex right in front of you, plus all the sports sets over here. So just go do sports. Shouldn't be that hard. But yeah, we're, people are happy again. Um, our average lifespan is up again. Everything over here is doing great. Uh, we're making bricks now. <laughs> I am really bothered that this is in here. What? <laughs> and what is this guy doing? You're trying to... what? What are you doing? Just get rid of whatever you're carrying. Yes, discard the cargo. Now where are you going? Home. Yeah, go home. Um... I don't want the wood and boards here. Why aren't you picking it up from there? I don't know. I don't, I don't think it matters that much. Um, four clubs, man. <laughs> I'm telling you. They're not quite... Quite doing what I want them to do. Oh! This guy's done. That was a lot faster than I expected, so... We should construct all of this. We should have probably constructed all this so we can... Um, get some coal in our Republic. We'll just do them all at the same time. It should... Should be fine. And then this one I will do in a little bit. I don't think that's necessary right away. I mean, this thing doesn't look like much, but it takes wood. No power? Does everyone else have power and that one doesn't? Um, okay. Um, honestly, I'm not surprised, but I am a little bit. Do we have... there's two there. There is one that's way further away on that side. So I think we can just put one right here. Has a little more coverage. And we will try to not have a silly path. Cool. Make it happen, please. Make it happen! Okay. Uh, clicking on these things is just... Sometimes it's a little hard. Especially on different times of the night. Day. What is it? It's 11 o'clock right now, so it's pretty late. 
Um, we are using all of the logs that we have, which tells me I think we should add another distribution office. So this actually can have a, has a chance to get emptied because right now they're clearly there's a lot of logs and not a lot happening. Although I'm also assuming that at some point these will be filled up and then we will just mass up the logs here, but I guess the wood that's used that will be used with the wood coal is going to be more constant. So we'll see. Uh, yeah, no. This is all working great. We will work on this area next time. Um, this will probably just be a relatively short episode, but once in a while that's probably fine. Maybe it's a double day. Um, but yeah, no, everything is working. We're, we're making the money, which is the important bit. The important bit is making money and we have our people not cranky anymore. So let's not lose people again as much as we just did. Our fuel production is working. Technically, we could attack this side and add a little more... Ooh. Um, add a little more uh, productivity onto that area, but we really don't need it yet. It's more important to me that we have this um, self-produced. And we're on a good path there. It's just this little area here, and then we are almost ready to start another city, even though I want to grow this city, and I would also like to add some tourism, so maybe we don't start another city right away. I want to see... Yeah, I just want to play with tourism. It looks cool. The idea is nice, and you can make money. I don't know how much money, but you are capable of making money, which I think is the most important thing. Anyway, um, that's all I have for right now. Hope you guys enjoyed it. You know all the things. Do the YouTube if you want to come back. I really appreciate any input you guys uh, give me. Um, anything good or bad doesn't matter. Everything helps. Love to hear it. And until next time. Bye.